Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Uh, now everything is clear. We received a, a word from um, Ukrainian intelligence uh, community that Belarus will not invade Ukraine. So uh, whenever you read now a uh, any article saying, oh, Belarus is getting ready, putting its army along the border with Ukraine, doing this, doing that, well, the Ukrainian intelligence said, no, there's no threat. Let's read on how these guys figured this out. This article comes from um, Ukrainska Pravda from today, June 22nd, 2022. No threat of Belarusian army invading Ukraine. Ukrainian intelligence. All right, so whomever says that from now on, it's a liar. All right, so we have here. Kirillo Budanov, head of the chief directorate of intelligence for the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, said that there is no threat of the Belarusian army invading the territory of Ukraine during this phase of the war. All right, and I'm quoting. At this point, there is absolutely no threat from the Belarusian side. I can tell you this with absolute confidence. The situation is absolutely under control. Belarus continues me, continues military training and exercise ex exercises, reinforcing border security, implementing a whole host of various military measures. But none of those are aimed at conducting hostilities against Ukraine at this point. If they begin contemplating that, we will soon know about it and we will take appropriate measures." End of quote. Earlier, Belarusian armed forces are constructing defense fortifications along the Belarusian border with the Ukraine and EU countries. Lukashenko said they hope uh, they, they are doing this so uh, they're not attacked by the NATO. So you see, everybody is afraid of everybody. Uh, security concerns, I guess. In order to demonstrate the presence of Belarusian troops in the area near the uh, Belarusian-Ukrainian border, units of the Belarusian army forces are deploying wooden dummy tanks made of wood. Oh my God. General Lieutenant Alexander Pavlyuk, commander of Kiev Defense Forces, said that new assault groups might be formed and deployed on the Kiev and Chernihiv fronts, but the gravest threat at the moment is the threat of missile strikes on Kiev. Belarusian armed forces are not directly involved in the Russian war with Ukraine. However, President Vladimir Putin of Russia is using the territory of Belarus to launch missiles on Ukraine. I don't think that's right. That would give these guys the right to shoot uh, Be Belarus, but then Belarus said, hey, we were attacked. So, you see, that's uh, kind of like, you know, what are you going to do about it? Those guys are shooting from another country's territory. Should you hit that territory? I think it's legitimate, but then you're going to draw Belarus in there. Reporters and activists frequently report the presence and, move and the movement of Russian military equipment in Belarus. On 10 June, Alexander Lukashenko suggested that Belarusian troops may have to fight for the west of Ukraine. So this is, so this, it is no looped off by the west. Uh, he also said that the Poland would like to get the western part of Ukraine. On June 15th, President Volodymyr Zelensky convened a meeting of the Commander-in-Chief's office regarding the possible threat of a new invasion by Belarus, at which he issued orders to conduct a readiness check in four oblasts. Four. On uh, June 17, Lukashenko said that he had stationed 10 military units along the border behind the border, border guards so the West countries cannot enter. So yeah, there is a threat. This guy is afraid of the Western countries talking trying to topple him, like, uh, <clears throat> and uh, the other guys are afraid these guys are going to shoot them. The only thing is that the Russians are using the Belarusian territory to shoot at Ukraine, and the Ukraine would not shoot at them in the Belarusian territory. So I think that's uh, not right. I mean, not right in a way that, you know, uh, it's kind of like the same way you receive, uh, I'm not saying it's the same way, it's, it's not right straight. I mean, it would be uh, legitimate, I would say, for Ukraine to hit at uh, Belarus, but then Belarus say, hey, you should uh, against us, we should invade. And not that he has a big army or something over there, but nevertheless, and if Belarus enters, then we can have uh, other countries uh, itchy 
to get in. Like itchy, ooh, I want to get in. And that could be Poland, but not Poland by itself. Poland will not do things by itself. It does with the help of uh, the big boss, because Poland then, you know, needs the help of uh, and support of its uh, uh, daddy. Anyway, this is this is it. No threat from Belarus. Thank God. Now we can all uh, uh, get on with our lives. Thank you for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.